Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine the Lewis structure of N2H2 molecule. It has a chemical name of dinitrogen dihydrogen and to determine its Lewis structure we are first going to look at the total number of valence electrons. So here we have two atoms of nitrogen and two atoms of hydrogen. Each nitrogen atom has five valence electrons in its outer shell and each hydrogen atom has one valence electron in its outer shell. So in total we have 12 valence electrons. We are multiplying both these numbers by 2 because there are two atoms of each nitrogen and hydrogen atom. Once you know the number of valence electrons, start placing the atoms to form a structure. Here both the nitrogen atoms will take the central position and the hydrogen atoms will be placed on the terminals. Once you have done that, place a pair of electrons between nitrogen and hydrogen atoms and both nitrogen atoms to show a bond. So here we are placing a pair of electrons between both these nitrogen and hydrogen atoms. Doing that we will have a stable structure for hydrogen atom because if you recall it just needs two valence electrons in its outer shell to attain a stable structure. So now hydrogen atoms are stable over here and now we move forward to nitrogen atoms. Here after using up six valence electrons out of 12 we are left with six more. So we are going to arrange these electrons around nitrogen atoms to check if we can achieve complete octets for both these nitrogen atoms. So we are going to place the remaining electrons over here 8, 10 and 12. Now doing this we will have a complete octet for one nitrogen atom whereas the other one will not have a complete octet and this one just has six valence electrons and to ensure that both these atoms have a complete octet we can move this electron pair here and check if we can achieve a complete octet for this nitrogen as well. Doing that we will have 8 valence electrons for both these nitrogen atoms and hence this is the accepted Lewis structure for N2H2 as all the atoms have complete octets and have a stable structure. I hope this video helps you to understand the Lewis structure of N2H2. For more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.